What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to our Burning Shadows preview. This is part two. In the last video, we went over the first half of this page that you see here, which is being released in Japan as their first SM uh, Sun and Moon 3 called Light Consuming Darkness. Today's video, we're going to be going, in this video, we're going to be going over the second one. Did you see the fighting rainbow? I don't know where they come up with these names. I know they're just like a translated name, but uh, but that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, this one moves a little faster than the last one did. I know I was taking taking my time. I guess I didn't realize just how many cards were in this set. There's so many. But in this video, there's so many cool cards. This is really where the cool cards that I, that I love are going to be. The good thing for us is that it's all going to be in one set. Actually, I don't know if that's a good thing for us because that means there's more cards to collect. But hey, I like opening cards, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I do hope you enjoy this video. If you missed our first video, you can click on the link up in the top right corner on the card, or you can click on the, the link in the description, or at the end of the video. All right, it'll be around, it'll be around. So make sure you check out that first part. And if you enjoyed this second part, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for all kinds of more Pokemon TCG openings online, all kinds of stuff. I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna need to get those. Now, I'm not even like, I didn't even realize that I wasn't even halfway through, but we're going to go ahead and keep going. Um, I might split this up into two videos. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. So uh, let's keep on going. I'm, I'm in a groove right now. So we got Oddish doing her thing. Gloom doing its thing. Hollow. Uh, I saw the next card and I kind of want to get to it, but Hollow Vileplume. Bitter Pollen, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon can't attack. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon can't attack. What is a Drampa? What is a Drampa when you have this card? What is a, um, what is a Darkrai? Like, all of these other basics and i like i'm thinking about the decks that i that are used like what is a lapras um you know obviously you can still hit it with garbador you can still use sylveon um you can still use umbreon you can still use all of those but uh <laughs> vile plume is back why is vile plume always the one now this is the card i saw i love me some hair across if this pokemon would be knocked out by your opponent's attack flip a coin if heads this pokemon is not knocked out and the remaining hp becomes 10 instead It'll never be used, but that's a built-in Focus Sash, and that's hilarious to me. Okay, Pansage, looking very Pansage-like. I keep saying that, but that, that's all I can come up with. Simi Sage, Scratch, Leaf Supply, attach a Grass Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Never will be used. Dupiter, Dupiter, the joke. Uh, Araquanid. Wasn't there another Araquanid? And wasn't it pretty good? Bubble Net, 30 damage. Your poke, your, during your opponent's next turn, they can't attach energy cards. Okay. For a double cost energy shirt. <gasps> Gasp! I need a billion of these. I need all of them. I need all of them. All of these two. Look at how awesome Charmeleon looks. Finally a card that does him justice. This card looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then of course, and then of course, ah, oh, give me this card. If I could pull this card when I open my booster box, which I will be doing, ah, oh, oh, my favorite Pokemon of all time. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Wing attack, oh, I, I've already read this many times. Crimson Storm, 300 damage, discard three fire energy from this Pokemon. Raging out is discard top 10 cards from your opponent's deck. So this could be used to mill out uh, pretty good. I know this card won't see any play. I still want a million of them because I love it. Now, another card that I love is this Ho-Oh GX. Sacred Fire attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Sure. Phoenix Burn 180. Sure. Eternal Light GX. Put a combination, put three in combination of fire Pokemon EX or GX from your discard pile onto your bench. So if you get Ho out there, then you can bam do that and you can get your Charizard out. 
you know, you can get your Turtonator out. You can get your, you know, whatever you want. Just bop, bop, bop. And then you have three GX cards on the bench ready to go. Fire type, of course. All right, we knew this card was in here. Panseer, yeah, whatever. Panseer, Simiseer. 50 damage. Attach a fire energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, sure. He's trying to help. He's trying to do something. Next, we have Heatmore. For each hedge, search your discard pile for one card, put it in your hand. Searing Flame, 60. Opponent's Pokemon's not burned. You'll never be used. Thank you for trying. Next, we have a Horsey, as you can see there. Looking cute, as always. Then we have a Seedra. What does Seedra say? Anything important? 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Nah. Hollow Kingdra. There's not that many Kingdra cards, either. Uh, Brian, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon with damage counters on it. Attack does 90 damage to it. So if it has damage counters on it, it does 90 damage for one water energy. That could potentially be used. It is a stage two though, so that'd be a little difficult to use, but Tornado Shot, 90 damage, discard a water energy, attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you could use Tornado Shot Discard the water energy. Attack, att attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Next turn, you can use Brine and do 90 damage to it. So it's 120 over 2. Okay, sure. Marrow, which looks to have gotten the yarn treatment. And then Azumarill. Ability Thick Fat. Any damage done is reduced by 30. Sure. Wobbuffet has Shadow Knot. 50 damage for each colorless Pokemon and for each colorless energy in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So if you're up against a fat Pokemon and you put three, we're moving on. We're moving on. We got Venipede here. We got uh, Whirlipede. Excuse me, I almost said the wrong thing. And then we have Scolipede. These arts are really strange. Actually, it just looks like the texture of the. Uh, yeah, it's just the, the scan, the texture of this image. Um, four energies for 140. That's never going to be used. We got Sandy Gast. We got Palisand. Shout out to Palisand. Why they give you such a crappy card to start? 80 damage. Defending Pokemon can't retreat during your next turn. For four energies, 100 damage. Discard all cards attached to both players' active Pokemon. Ah, oh, useless. Riolu, Lucario, Determination. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your one of your Pokemon during your turn, prevents all effects of your opponent's attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon till the end. Blah 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 blah. So when you play it down, it's safe for a turn, so you can get three energies to do 120. That's kind of useless. Crab Brawler, Crab Abominable. Guts Hammer, 80 damage. This Pokemon does damage to itself even equal to the... Does damage to itself equal to the number of damage counters on it. So if it has... Da okay, the these are so silly. Passimian, look at that art. Ooh, he fighting that Lucario. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, Wild Pitch, 90 damage. Discard a Pokemon tool card from your hand. If you can't, this attack does nothing. This won't be used either. Alolan Grimer. Multiply, search your deck for an Al Alolan Grimer and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Is this card good? I am so scared for this card to be good. All right, let's read about it. Let's read about it. Can you see all that? Okay, good. Chemical Press, for three energy, 10 damage, does 70 more for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, for four energy, discard 100, 120 damage and discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That won't be used, but this next thing, Trihazard GX, choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch it with their active Pokemon. The new active Pokemon is now poisoned, burned, and paralyzed. So if you do that, basically you can get a 210 damage attack for one turn. So unfortunately, Alolan Muck probably won't be used. That would have been cool because you can use Multiply here, but since you can only use one GX attack, I don't think that Alolan Muck is going to be used. Next we have a Darkrai with only 120 hit points, which is so strange to see. 
Hypno Wave, 30 damage. Active Pokemon is now asleep. Dark Raid is 80 plus damage. Opponents, if your opponent has used their GS attack, this attack does 80 more damage. No, not for 3 energy. Then we got an Inkay. We got a Malamar. Psybeam. Energy Slosh. May remove all energy attached to this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. Nope. Still won't be used. A Deancey with only 90 hit points. This is so weird. Sparkling Prayer. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. So you can evolve. Could that be used like with um like with Gardevoir? Getting the Gardevoir GX ready to go? Maybe. We got a nice cutie fly here. Looking nice and useless. A Rebombi. Honey Gather, once during your turn, search deck for two basic energies and put them into your hand. That could work with, um, that could work with Gardevoir. I wonder if, like, that could be like a one of, you'd have one of each of these. Because they're weak, so I mean, they're going to just get smacked up as soon as people see them. Um, then we have a Noivern. We haven't had a Noi Bat. That's kind of strange, but uh, we have a Noivern here. Looking amazing. That's an absolutely sick card. Distortion, 50 damage during your opponent's next turn. Opponent can't play item cards, so more item lock. Loud Sonic, 120. Opponent can't play any special energy. Dang. An explosive sound wave for three energy, which is one psychic, one dark, and one colorless. That's terrible. Uh, no, I guess you can use a double dragon. Is double dragon still a thing? If it is, then you could potentially do it. Attack does 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's cool. Alright, we got a Meowth, the regular Meowth. Regular Persian. Not gonna be used. Hoot hoot. Noctowl. 70 damage. Look at your opponent's hand and discard one card you find there. One Pokemon card you find there. Hoofalon. Any damage done to this Pokemon and next Afro Head is its attack? Okay. Okay. Yeah, nothing really to be used. Excuse me. Noibat. There's our Noibat. Nothing really here. So let's go over here. Rotom Dex in Poke Finder mode. Hope you can see that there. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Put them in back in any order you'd like. Sure. Muscle Dumbbells. Those look, that's a nice, that's a cool looking card. There's a tool attached to one of your Pokemon. If the Pokemon is a stage 1, its max HP is increased by 40. So if it's a stage 1, so like Noivern, Alolan Muck, that's a 260 hit point Alolan Muck. Okay. Now this is another card I'm looking forward to that might make Charizard useful. <laughs> Search your deck for 4 fire energies and attach them to one of your Pokemon. That can be used with either Ho-Oh or Charizard. Or maybe Charizard can get your ho -Oh, or excuse me, Ho-Oh can get your Charizard down, and Kiawe can get your can get four energies on. I think it's pretty cool. And then you just VS Seeker to get it back and broop, 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 but then you gotta replenish your fire energies eventually, and could be good. Pumeria, um, to continue with our team skull uh, team skull people in this set. Discard two cards from your hand or play this card. Discard one energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. That, if that card ever gets used. <sighs> Mount Lanakila. Looking just like it looked in the game, which I think is so cool. Uh, retreat cost of each player's basic Pokemon is increased by a color energy. Crazy. All right, let's take a look at these full art cards. Charizard is looking absolutely amazing. This might be my favorite card in all of Sun and Moon so far. It looks awesome. Then we have Ho-Oh, which is, might be my second favorite. Can you see that? All right, good. Um, this, these are just amazing. I, just, I said it earlier. I know I'm, I repeat myself a lot, but these full arc, these GX cards just look so great. I think Noivern looks amazing. He looks so cool. I cannot wait to pull one of these. Then we got Kiawe looking anime. Hopefully you can see it there. Plumeria, looking Team Skull-like. Rainbow Charizard, see I like the full art better. I really like this card, don't get me wrong, but I do like the full art better. 
Hello. Hello and muck. Noivern. And then what are our seeker rares? Seeker rare is Scape Rope. Seeker rare Muscle Dumbbells. That, this card looks amazing. I would love to pull that. And of course, Seeker rare Fire Energy. You can see on the other side there. I do believe that's it for this. Now, there's something that... Well, here, let's... uh. So here, actually, let's scroll up to the top of the page. So we just went through all of these. I do believe this is going to be cut into two videos because I think it's going to be a little too long. But uh, let's click right here. So... Let me zoom. If I zoom, then I can move it over. So we have this Shining Mew, which looks... Oh, wait, <gasps> hold on, I'm cutting this out. You won't see this. I got a little sidetracked there and went to look at something that's actually gonna be in the next set after Burning Shadows. We don't need to see that right now though. Um, hopefully I remember to cut that out. Hopefully I remember to cut that out. All right, so let's take a look uh, at just these arts just to see what we got. Um, so what is this? These are the decks and the card packs. Yeah, I'm not interested in the decks. This is what our booster box is gonna look like. Uh, uh, this is this is what our booster box is gonna look like. There you go, you can, you can see it there. I need to get a green screen, but hey, you can see it there. Just go to Poke Beach if you wanna see it. Here's our Elite Trainer box with Necrozma on it. That looks really cool. Can't wait to add that to my collection. Got a Jang Mo'o promo coming as, long, as well as a Komala. And our blister packs are going to be Cosmoem and Alolan Meowth. And lastly, and these just look so cool. Ho oh, oh, Tapu Fini. There's no Tapu Fini. At least we haven't seen a Tapu Fini. Why is Tapu Fini here? Why is Tapu Fini in this? Maybe Tapu, maybe we've yet to see Tapu Fini. Uh, but I wonder why Tapu Fini's there. So we're actually gonna leave that up as we wrap up this video. I do hope you enjoyed these couple videos just previewing Burning Shadows, the Pokemon TCG set that's coming on August. <coughs> <coughs> coming on August 4th to America. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. I just kind of wanted to take a look. Let me know what you thought about these videos below. Let me know if you agree with what I think about cards viability. Let me know if you think a card that I thought was bad could be viable. And we can all look forward to opening up our packs. If you're looking for somewhere to, somewhere to watch someone open some packs, I've already ordered my booster box for Burning Shadows that will be here hopefully a couple days maybe before the actual release date. And if you watch my videos, you already know that there's going to be two videos um, on the weekend that will probably be Burning Shadows when it comes out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button if you did and subscribe so you can see all of the new stuff. Most importantly, have a blessed day.